Hey, what's up everybody? I'm out for a three prong session and I'm going back to my old cheap less than $30 mask from Amazon. So it's not a low volume like my hammerhead and I'm going to test to see whether that's the issue with my vision. So I'm jump in. It's a super calm day, a little bit overcast and um, Water's a little bit cold, but um, it's all it's all good, nice and calm. There's my three prong, my evolve, and I'm gonna swim out looking for some pan fry fish. But the thing I really want to test is the mask. So um, it is not a low volume like the hammerhead so the lens is a little bit further away from my eyes so let's see if that helps with the vision so i went out to a little bit deeper area there's a wahanui down there i've never been able to hit one with a three prong so i'm going to make the drop and right as i get about halfway down even though i'm equalizing the mask i can feel the squeeze it's not leaking uh, so it it feels way tighter than the um, uh, the hammerhead at this depth. There's that Wahanui just hanging out there, but um, it feels pretty good. So there's a surface, and I think everything looks a lot clearer to me. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going to solve my vision issue. So I swam in a little bit more shallow. There weren't many fish out in that deep, deep area other than that Wahanui. So I make my first drop. Gliding to the bottom. My duck dive entry is um, feeling pretty good. Hanging on to the rock. There's a Puala that swam by. A little a couple Hinalea. A small nae nae just kind of chilling here hoping one of those mycoikos comes a little closer mm. a lot of aquarium fish and here comes the yellow tank school there's a manini but it just kind of swam off to the side I didn't think I could get a shot at it Hopefully it comes back, but I'll try to get one of these mycoicos. I took a shot, and I got it, and I was worried that it was going to come off, so I was kind of running out of air, so I just left my three-prong down there, take a quick breath, because dive right back down and pick it up. I could have pulled it up. Now that went when I saw where the, where the spear went through, but safe. Better be safe than sorry. So I have my first fish. So it, uh, notice if you watch my last diving video, I was shooting everything high. So I'm pretty convinced now that it's the mask. So everything looks um, a lot better with this mask. I can see a lot clearer. So the distance of the glass away from my eyes um, is making a lot of difference. And I'm not about to go get prescription um, goggles. So one fish on the Kui. So if you haven't tried the Maikoikos, uh deep fried, pretty much cook them just like Kole, uh, you're missing out. To me, they taste uh, just as good, uh, and they're super plentiful, so uh, give it a shot. You can see there's another, uh, the Maikoikos tend to follow the yellow tank schools, so they school up a lot more than the, um, the Kole. So I make another drop here, looking for a handhold. Got it. There's some King Kole there. They're the yellow tangs. 
and lots of my koi -kos. So I'm lining up and take a shot and I got it. So I pin it against the rock, make sure I got it and quite frankly I'm really not sure if that's the one I was aiming for. No matter, even after I looked, looked at this video again, uh, I don't really know. I think I may, may have got lucky on this one, that I missed the one I was looking for and I got a headshot on the one in the back. But it is what it is and I have my second Maikoiko and that's enough for me for dinner. So I'm going to put this on the stringer. And right now I'm two for two on shots. And when I, my last dive you saw that that video, I don't know how many I missed. So I'm 100% convinced it's the mask, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I really like the feel of the hammerhead. Um, I like the low volume, but it's back to my cheapo mask. So, I think I'm going to try to get one more fish and call it a day. So uh, I'm dropping back down on the yellow tank school. Again, hit the bottom, take a handhold, and just chill. There's a small little moon there. There's a King Kole coming between the rocks. Take aim. Another headshot. So, I'm definitely way more on target now. So, not missing, hitting the head where I'm aiming. So, this, this guy was even bigger than what I thought. I was trying to get uh, one of the, I thought it was smaller because uh, I'm kind of liking the smaller ones because um, they, they, pan, they pan fry up uh, really good. Uh, the bigger ones, the skin gets a little bit rubbery, but um, I'm going to try this new method with this with a double fry. But um, yep, three shots, three fish. Pretty happy with that. Going to be back to using my cheapo mask from China what I'm thinking that could be the problem too is the weight of the GoPro on the um, hammerhead because it is so low volume it may be pulling it forward thus distorting the lens I'm really not sure but um, it's time to swim in so I got three fish it was a good three-prong day, nice and calm. There are a lot of little bait fish down there. I'm just taking my time coming in, no surge. I'm trying to find, oh, there's my landing zone. love these round boulders how the ocean just shaped them all so these three fish um, we're gonna um, deep fry it the king cole since it's bigger I'm gonna try a double fry technique on that like I said earlier we'll make a video and see how it comes out because I want to um, try to crisp up the skin so I made it back beautiful day had a great time thanks for watching please like and subscribe and aloha